Driving, I'm in here at the Leesburg Car Show. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna show you every single car here. Smash that like button and subscribe, and let's get started. Here we go, all right, woohoo! And uh, we have lined up here some very cool cars, but you know what? I'm gonna run down this way, just uh, I'm gonna go every direction here, so it's gonna be quite something else. Just so many cool cars here today. The Back to the Future DeLorean, of course. This beautiful 69 Corvette. And uh, it is very cool. Look at these doors. He did this himself. And uh, it's just an incredible car. Mike's uh, Volkswagen thing here. 1973. It's got some safari looking wheels on it. Really, really cool. But yeah, this guy, uh, 69, dude. Um, he did a great job with this car. Uh, just beautiful. 69, he did a little something to the engine as well. I love it when they have a model of their car <laughs> at the car. How cool is that? Look at that. Want to see the original window sticker? Okay, there you go. Here, press pause. There you go, you can see that. Like I said, I'm going to try to show you every single car here. So, uh, there you go, the DMC-12 DeLorean. They still had leftover parts with these, and you could just get one made. Stainless steel. This one has the uh, LS3 Corvette engine in it, so it's a lot quicker than the V6 that they had in there. Beautiful Ford 1949 pickup truck. Beautiful Rambler. Custom Rambler. Kennedy for president. Look at that. Elsie, she's called. 1960. 11,000 original miles. A lot, of, uh, a lot of these cars are uh, friends of mine, actually, so it's good to see them out here today. This is the uh, Honda Acura NSX. I have a full driving review of this one on YouTube. Search any car and drive an Ivan. You should be able to find a review. Beautiful, uh, not a Factory 5, but a very nice uh, Shelby clone here. Beautiful racing seats, and uh, just the, the color on this one is so good. They try to make them truer to the original. Um, where was this one made? You don't know? I uh, thought he might know. But um, the guy told me, I kind of forgot. It was uh, a southern state, like uh, where this one was made. But it's, uh, I think Unique is the company. So look it up, but very cool. This one is uh, Steve McQueen Bullet Special, looks like. Very cool. Um, there you go. Awesome. Pause for the specs there. I can just see it jumping the jumping the roads in uh, San Francisco. I got to shoot a beautiful car review in San Francisco. A uh, Dodge Challenger. Drove it down Lombard Street and everything. That's pretty cool. Looks like he's got a bunch of race tracks on the back there. I just drove what's probably the best race track in the world, the Nurburgring, and I'm importing some cars from Europe, so. Subscribe to my channel and see all about that. Very cool Rothmans Porsche 944 here. Little wrap, I think. Rat rod here. Rut row, it's a rat rod. And it looks good. Yes, it does. All right, here we go. 944. Aha. Beautiful last of the M3s here of this uh, era. They did not make these in right-hand drive, actually. If you watch my London Cars and Coffee video, there was a beautiful example like this one also there. Uh, yeah. These are famous and sought after for a good reason. Excellent handling cars. You drive this car, um, it doesn't drive you. Beautiful flared fenders. Just a, a great look. Now, Porsche 944s are known for their handling, too, of course. The Alpha Spider. This one would be later than the um, Graduate movie. That was a duetto, late 60s boat tail. This one kind of looks like that. Uh, this is the um, fancier version, which is the uh, Spider Veloci. The entry level version was actually called the Graduate for a while, but this is a later model in the 90s. You can tell because it has the airbag. And again, they have a little model of it, but yeah, I was just in Italy driving Alfa Romeos all the time. I have a review coming of the car that I was driving there. Uh, 
and lots of alpha videos. Like I said, check out, I, I did a, there was a Cars and Coffee, Cars and Coffee in Tuscany, Italy. Another Fiat here, and, uh, well, I say another Fiat, because I actually drove a Fiat there. That gives us some clue to maybe what I imported, but, um, this is based on the Miata, but it is the Fiat 124 Spider. If you'd like to know what it's like exactly, I have a driving review of it. But yes, based on the Miata, but it is a Fiat 124 Spider. They also made an Abart version. This beautiful Carmen Ghia right here. I've spoken to this gentleman before. He's got his car on his shirt. And uh, I had a Carmen Ghia, so yeah, I got a full driving review of this one on YouTube. Uh, beautiful. What's the engine, sir? <laughs> 1600. 1600. There you go. Looks like a Porsche engine, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> beautiful orange color, too. Man, magnificent, sir. Thanks for bringing it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> beautiful vet. 1953. That's the first year, kids. Look at that. Whew. Classic. Now, this is a later M3. So, uh, yes, the later M3. And wow, just some great looking Corvettes here. Look at that one. Crossfire and injection. And this one, this is a post 77 because they went to this round kind of glass in the back. And you could open it, which is kind of cool. So there's more utility than the other one. I just like the look of the other one, like that 69 we saw before. Here's a window sticker. And look, another model of the car. Very, very nice. Ah, oh, this is my friend's uh, beautiful, beautiful front engine V12 Ferrari. It's a 550 Marinello. Yes, I have a full driving review of this one too. Not this car, a different one, but uh, gated, gated manual in that one. And uh, yes, absolutely beautiful. Here is that beautiful gated manual, H-gate. That is one of the purest driving experiences in all of the automotive world. Uh, reviewed this one, reviewed the Roma and the 308 as well. And I have a Maserati Spider, which is uh, the poor man's Ferrari, I call it. But anyway, front engine V12, that's classic for Ferrari. Classic VET 66. Just a really nice show here. Another friend of mine's beautiful uh, Sunbeam Alpine. Very nice. Just a nice British convertible with a Ford engine. Think Shelby Cobra. Just an earlier version. And yeah, that's what we're talking about. So yeah, the Sunbeam Beautiful. Tiger Alpine. Yes, yes, yes. What a great car. <laughs> right. I want you to see all the car. Okay. Later BMW here with a nice German uh, stripe running down the side. This is a model of uh, James Dean's 550 Spider. I actually went to the site of James Dean's crash and I have reviewed this one. It's a Beck Spider. I'm not sure if this one's Beck, but uh, yeah, I got a full driving review and it's pretty cool, I must say. Sit pretty low in these and uh, what an absolutely beautiful shape. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Porsche, there is no substitute. Mustang from the 60s. Five speed. Hmm. Must be a resto mod. I think they came with a five speed back then, so. Yeah, this one's been updated. Yeah. And looked in good. Corvair, love the Corvair. I had a convertible, yeah, and I regret first, selling it. First car. I regret selling it, but uh, yeah, you can see my full driving review at least. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Sixty-four, sixty-three. Anybody know? Something like that. There's the engine. Yeah, and Ralph Nader's. Uh, Ralph Nader signed a picture of the Corvair for me. <laughs> It's in my video. You can see it. It's hilarious what he wrote. It's worth it's worth watching my review just to see what he wrote on my picture of the Corvair. But basically, it was a Porsche 911 
in suspension. And in Germany, they know how to drive, so it wasn't a problem. But you bring it to America, and somebody's in a turn and they lift off, and the back end turns around with the oversteer, with the snap oversteer. And uh, yeah, you've got a lawsuit and things like that. But it's the same basic suspension as a Porsche 911, Porsche 356. So unsafe at any speed in America and in Germany. Just fun to drive. <laughs> 56 Bel Air maybe? 55, 56? I don't know. I'll try to check. I always just call out years before I actually walk up. 55. Beautiful, beautiful. Two-tone interior there. Wow. like it. Built-up engine. And again, another model of the car. How cool is that? What do you think of these models? I love them. Especially a little one you can drive around in. Look at this. Uh, got some Smokey and the Bandit themes going on here two in a row that's kind of cool yes Burt Reynolds the late great Burt Reynolds recently passed away too bad but uh, I saw Smokey and the Bandit in the theater I hate to tell you I was young but I saw that movie in the theater with my parents and uh, man cars really make the movie don't they and in this case yeah <laughs> to see three of them in a row here is kind of cool I like it. Smokey and the Bandit. And then we have right here, this is an MG uh, T, TD, TC, uh, TF, MG TD. And this would have been, uh, let's see if we can get a year on this, 1953, the, uh, MGTF, you know, these were cars that American soldiers maybe saw when they were overseas and wanted to bring back. So these became quite popular in America. And really, if you think of the cars of the 50s in America and then you think of this, they're totally different. The cars in America were just huge, like that 55 over there. And then you had these British sporty sports cars. And that's why people loved them. And that's why they came to America, and that's why British sports cars are so popular in America now. Check out my Hunt Country Classic this year and two others before. That's a great British car show. Okay, on to the other side. And we continue on with this uh, very cool Monte Carlo. What's going on here? Oh, it's for sale. There you go. 35th annual Leesburg car show. There you go. Another pink car. I have a pink Citroen CX wagon. I love pink cars. Pink Lincoln. Pink Panther. There we go. Shining it up. Looks like a 65, 66. 65. There you go. I drove a similar car like this to prom. My uncle had one. I have his hat on, actually. My late great uncle. He had a 66 with the pony interior. No pony interior in this one, but mm, it smells good in there. Wow. When did you have the interior done? Um, it's been about eight years. It smells good in there. Wow. Thanks. Looks good. Looks great. So there you go. 65 Mustang convertible. Next to a plum crazy Challenger. So I, I reviewed the Challenger actually, uh, like I was saying in San, San Francisco. Drove it down Lombard Street, that is a cool video. Late 60s uh, Cadillac Coupe de Ville here. Divine, all black, Elvis limousine looking. Yeah, I took my driver's test in a 70 Coupe de Ville convertible, so. This car is kind of near and dear to me, but it's, this is earlier in the 60s. I'm trying to see what year it is. Can't tell, but uh, 60s, certainly. It's like a T-Bird here. Nice looking car, and uh, let's see, brown Porsche 356. Very, very, very nice. Next to a Beetle C. Same designer, Ferry Porsche, Ferdinand Porsche. Yes, Porsche is the correct pronunciation. So, uh, 
I don't know. I think they always look good in brown. Notice the Carmen Ghia had a 1600 engine, and this 356 has a 1600 engine. Hi, doggy. You want to be in my video? Yes. Nice doggy. Got to show all the doggies. The Silverado pickup. And uh, there you go. Really nice. Silverado C10. How you doing? He's a regular at a car show I go to, just up the street here. Mitsubishi Spider, I guess. Uh, I guess it's a Mitsubishi Spider. Eclipse Spider. Nice looking car. And uh, yeah, a lot of these cars are uh, regulars at my show. Not that uh, Eclipse, I think that's really cool. Uh, gotta stay away from him because of the music though. Uh, shaker. It's got the shaker hood. Looky there. Oh, what a cute doggy. Yeah. Oh, a cute little puppy. Yeah. <laughs> shaker. Shaker. See? Special effects on the camera. That's what you get when you watch a Drive and Ivan video. Shaker. Cuda. Now won't ya, Barracuda. If you like music, check out some of my guitar reviews and music videos and uh, stories on Jim Morrison's life in Alexandria. I've got uh, Jim Morrison's life in Paris and death in Paris coming. I'll work on that video soon. Like I said, I imported a couple few cars from Europe. Drove on the Nürburgring, so check that out. Triumph Stag here. Smash that like button if you already haven't. If you like this Triumph Stag as much as I do. Look at the T-top. <laughs> British automotive greatness right here. Definitely. Very cool. Ooh, it's a patrol. Look at that. The off-road vehicles are quite in in vogue. Nissan Patrol. There you go. Datsun, what's it, 1400, 1500? No, it's a 2000, actually, this one. But let me show you here. Might be later seats in this one, but still the guy is super, there. super cool. Got the spare tire on the back. I'll poke the camera in here, show you the uh, personnel carrier aspect of it. Very cool. And uh, there you go, 2000 Datsun Roadster. Yep, nice to see the Japanese uh, cars lined up here together. Uh, very, very cool. Oh, here's a car. I have one of these. This is a 986 Boxster. Mine is actually on purpose a Tiptronic. So there you go, but this one's a manual. The S, a little faster. You pay for everything with Porsche, you pay for the speed, and the S is a little faster. Nice retractable wing there. Um, but yeah, I think it's the purest shape of the Boxster, the 986. 912, 1967. I think I reviewed a, it might've been a 69, 912. What is the 912? I know you're thinking 911. Looks like a 911. Nope. It's a four-cylinder Porsche. So basically the poor man's Porsche from back then, before the 914, they put a four-cylinder in the 911 to make it a little cheaper. So that's what a 912 is. The one I drove is pretty exquisite. Full driving review of that one. So there you go. Like I said, just search driving Ivan in any of these cars. I interviewed Pete Brock in front of the original version of this, the Cobra Daytona when it was inducted into the Historic Vehicle Registry. So Pete Brock helped design it. And at first they came around and said, hey, it's ugly. But when they got more top speed down the straight, then they liked it. Notice it has all the tracks here. That's very, very cool. Stickers of all the tracks. You're supposed to put those stickers on the car when you drive it on the track. Must be the guy's name. So there you go. Maybe it's a Factory 5 replica. I'm not sure which one it is. But the original car has like hammered aluminum and you can see pock mark it, in it. Again, check out my Pete Brock interview. With that. that is a very cool video. Um, and these, this is a very cool car. Good tribute to it. Uh, another Cobra clone, like three in a row here. Saw one earlier from Unique. I think these might be Factory 5. I'm not sure who made them. But yeah, I have a full driving review of these too. So check that out. Three in a row. 427. 427. And uh, not sure. There you go. And who made this one? It's Factory 5. So it is Factory 5, okay. Are all these Factory 5, do you know? Or? No. 
unique. That's a factory five. This one is a uh, backdraft. Okay. And that one is Okay, LA Exotic. So there you go. A bunch of different makers of the Cobra. This one looks pretty uh, pretty original as well. Love the knockoffs. And uh, look, Carol Shelby. Signed the dash. That's a great thing to have. I actually have Carol Shelby's signature on a picture of him in this car. The original Cobra. Got to meet the man. That was pretty cool. Uh... Same, actually the same day I interviewed Pete Brock, so that was pretty cool. There were a bunch of original Cobras on hand. My favorite was the street one with the wire wheels on it. It was white, so cool. Blown SS Chevelle here, 1970, I'm going to say. Uh, how do I know? 70 was my first uh, car. I had a 70 Chevelle convertible. Uh, Malibu, not very quick. This one looks like it will uh, tear up the drag strip. Look at that. Yeah. This is a drag racer, very cool. It's got the uh, wheelie bar that, down there, keep you from tipping over. This one's got a gas tank in the, in the trunk there. Or maybe it's nitrous, who knows? Anyway, um, bitchin' Camaro, I would call it. <laughs> very cool, racing seats, cowl induction. Wow, what a built engine, beautiful. Good work here on this Camaro, absolutely stunning. C3 Corvette. And uh, let's see, probably a late 70s. I don't know what year. 79. 79. There you go. Post uh, post 77. Certainly, that's when they put in the nice round back yeah, glass here. Yeah, 78. Yep, 78. So uh, looks like Craig or Mags maybe on this uh, beautiful Mustang here. Burgundy. Automatic. We'll check out the engine. I know you want to see the engine, right? There you go. A lot of cool cars here. Grand National. What is this? I don't know. Let's see what it is. It says right there on the thing, but I'd rather walk to the back and see. Oh, you can't see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Malibu. Oh yeah, 80, 80 Malibu. How about that? It fooled me. Camaro. Wow, look at the one next to it. What an absolute beast. My God. Sorry. That is quick. That is going to get you down the drag strip very fast, I believe. Something tells me. Want to see what it looks like underneath? Of course you do. Oh boy, there you go. Man, what a beast. Beast. Heck yeah, look at that one. That is a very cool looking Shelby clune there. 3.0, Coyote V8. Wow, wood steering wheel, like it. Good looking. So I, I took it to a shop. There's a guy out by me. And I have these guards parking in the garage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can only imagine that happens in Wow, look at here. Aero SS. Got the engine up for display. Whew. Are you ladies enjoying the show? Yes. All right. All right. Okay, we did it all up. So there you go. That's this side. Now I'll take you down to the other side. Okay, coming on over on this side and uh, we're starting with a Camaro, a Chevy Apache pickup truck. It's green color. See the roof? See the roof above that one? Uh, hopefully I'll be doing a full driving review on this one. This is uh, like my 70 Chevelle, except much quicker. This is a clone, SS clone, I believe. Uh, but yeah, no, it's not a 70, it's a 60, 71 or 70, 71 or 72. But uh, still, love it. Very nice car, great shape, great, uh, I think it's, it's a copy, but. Uh, this looks like a GOAT GTO. 
kind of a sleeper. You get the Tempest too, but this one is not over the top, you know. Uh, 1964, this was the beginnings of the uh, muscle car era. And you know, it's uh, it's not over the top, it's understated, it is a sleeper. In other words, a car that is fast, doesn't necessarily look fast. It looks like the one your uh, mom drives to church, or the store, you know? So, uh, <laughs> there you go. 1968. C3 Corvette convertible. Um, really nice blue color. My C3 was blue. And uh, I love blue cars. Chrome bumpers. Good as it gets. Honda S2000. Very quick cars. The earlier ones revved to 9000. And uh, definitely got to know how to drive to drive these fast. Um, driver's cars. Not a lot of... Uh, Safety built in for, uh, you know, traction control and things like that. But this is what you want. A very pure, sporting, Whoa, you, Japanese car. car. What's up? I'm live. Live, oh, live. live. Live shooting a video. Yes, I just complimented your car. Don't now worry. You, you, you wanted to take it out for a, for a ride. I do. I still want to review it. Drive an Ivan. Just give me a call. Watch the video tonight. I'll post the video of all the cars here. Shoot me a PM. We'll get a full driving review of that puppy. Great car. Great car. Yeah, I'm always willing, ready, and able to review a car if it's interesting and cool. I have a lot of cars myself. If you want to know what I drive, search what does Drive and Ivan drive. And uh, I have two videos. The music video is the newer, more updated version of my collection. But, uh, yeah. Smash that like button and follow if you haven't already. And... Uh, Look at that beast on there. Look at that. It's a hornet. The car's not a hornet, but it's attracted to the yellow, maybe. I don't know. What a beast. It's a charger. Charger. <laughs> this is an era when the, uh, in the 70s, when the cars got really big and long. Almost dinosaur-like. I mean, never really been my thing, honestly. But, you know, you got to appreciate an old muscle car. But they just... It was so big. It was like bigger is better, and it was just like a little bit silly to me. But um, you know, I think some of the earlier ones are prettier, like this one here. You know, very very nice. And again, a little model of the car, 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. So yeah, 70. You can see the just like the Chevelle, really, with the dual dual headlights in front, and uh, everybody wants you to vote for them. Look at that. Very cool. The uh, advertisement up here very similar to my Chevelle um, I like the uh, flag draped across there and you know definitely a family resemblance to the Chevelle no question about it very nice looking custom pickup truck here uh, let's see what else we got uh, here it is here's the Corvair probably uh, 63 64 just like mine let's see what year it is Man, I miss mine. Mine had white. Mine was blue with white interior. It was so pretty. 1963. Yeah. 64 was the last year of this shape, and then they made some changes in 65. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, the same. That's a custom dash there. But the same uh, basic layout as a Porsche 911. Rear engine, rear wheel drive hanging over the back axle there. And... Uh, I don't know, 150 per horsepower. This one's a turbocharged one, so it was quick. Mine was not. <laughs> but uh, I, I love them. Again, yeah, check out my full review on that one. It's a great video. Very informative. And I show you my uh, signed uh, Ralph Nader uh, picture of the Corvair. And it's very funny what he wrote on it. So there you go. 1928 Ford. Rat Rod. Rut Row. I love the way people just personalize their rat rods and put all sorts of crazy stuff. It is almost Halloween time, so you've got some of that going on, too. Uh, Reddit Cool Rod. Second gets the cheese. Second rat gets the cheese. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the detail in this thing. How cool. Very cool, if you ask me. Uh, another beautiful Mustang. Yellow and black. People telling their car stories, hanging out. Camaro Z1, 575. Is that the horsepower? 
707 in the Hellcat, if you want to see my full driving review of that. Yeah, I reviewed the Hellcat. Let's see what's going on here. Who did he get signatures from? Ooh, look at that. How cool is that? Is that cool? Let me know you who you think that is in the comments. Probably know. Another 55 Bel Air 56. Beautiful color scheme. Sky blue and white. This one here. I don't know if I call this. This is a hot rod, not a rat rod. This looks too good to be a rat rod. 1934 Ford, suicide doors. Why are they called suicide doors? Because if this opened and you were falling out of the car, it would drag you along with it and kill you. That's why these doors were eventually outlawed. You can find even some uh, Fiat Cinquecentos. The 500 had a suicide door in a while. And now Rolls Royce has put them back in because they found a way to do it safely, basically. And uh, so there you go. The suicide door is no longer a thing of the past, but it was outlawed for many, many decades in the U.S. of A for safety reasons, and that's why. Some militia, military cars out here today. Very cool. Uh, like a MASH Jeep. Reminds me of MASH car show. And they got a James, other, if you uh, put this on, is it better? Whole military display here. Nice. 3100 Chevrolet pickup truck. There you go. <laughs> Please look, but don't touch. Still looking for one of my friends who's usually out here. Another mid 50s Bel Air. Please don't touch. And there you go. All right, 5 ohm Mustang. And here we are. We'll we'll wave to the cops, keeping us safe here today. Thanks for being here, guys. All right, there you go. Why not? Yeah, look, more of them. <laughs> Ogden, that's pretty cool. All right, pretty cool, huh? All that, and we got one more row to go. I gotta bring it all to you. Look at the matching hat. How cool is that? There you go. Check it out tonight on Drive and Ivan on YouTube. Right. Every car here. There you go. It's a good time to smash that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And search any car in Drive and Ivan, like this Corvair. Ooh, the wing and back looks cool, doesn't it? I think it does. International Scout, too. I don't know if I focused on that. The Mach 1 Mustang, too. Very, very cool. Don't know if I showed you enough of that earlier. And here are my friends at the Exotic Vehicle Wraps. They got a stand here today. Just wanted to highlight their stand. They do vehicle wraps. So there you have it. I guess you know what this car is, right? Yeah. 57 Chevy. Look at that. Got quite a crowd around it because it is cool. Look at that red, black interior. Yes, yes, yes. This is the year you want. This is the car you want. And uh, a lot of people are crowded around here. Press the pause button. You'll see it. There you go. Very, very cool. Here we have a, uh, what's it say, 347. Hmm. Manual transmission and uh, another one right here. 65 Mustang. There you go. So, let's see. There we go. Got to show you the engines, right? Nice rally stripe down the side, Mustang. And uh, go ahead and show you the engine here too. Why not? There you go. All right, cool paint job on this Stingray here. C3 Vet, 383. Convertible, what a beast. Very nice. Oh, 1971. Ooh, look at this thing. Look at the flares on this boss Mustang. 302. That is cool. Wow. Very nice look there. Boss 302X. I like the flares. Just saw a BMW 3 Series convertible with those same flares this morning. Love it. At the Katie's Cars and Coffee. That's one of the best. That's one of the best cars and coffees in the area. I have a video on that one too. Show you what a typical day at Katie's is like. Saw a Q Valley Mangusto today. 
And of course, my uh, fresh European import was there. I'll be doing a full video on soon. Charger, love the color in this one. Actually, the car I just brought over from Europe is the same color. <laughs> love this color, like a turquoise. Wow, very cool. Bronco, Broncos are very hip now since they just re-released it. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one looks the part, yeah, 66 Dodge Charger. But the Bronco looking amazing, nice lift, beautiful finish, convertible, more modern seats in there, I think, 351. And uh, wow, wouldn't you just love to drive on the beach with this thing? I would. <laughs> 1961 Ford, uh, C10, mm, 53, look at that, Mercury, beautiful, look at that interior, stunning, great looking car, there you go, just like his first car, show you another angle on this Ford. Looking good. Chevrolet. There's your C10, I believe. <laughs> Camaro SS. Mustang Fastback. Not quite an Eleanor, but very cool looking. I like it. Super Sport SS Chevelle. From the 60s. There you go. Looking good. Oh, this is a this is a highlight of any car show here. Amazing car here. Look at the turbo rocket. <coughs> very cool car here. Jet fire. Uh, just a very rare convertible muscle car. Uh, we're lucky in this area because we see it a lot, but. I'm sure a lot of you are drooling over this one. Very rare, beautifully presented. And uh, I wish them luck today with the votes. Everybody's vying for that first place. 55, Chevy, resto modded, looking good. More modern seats, a lot of custom work put into this one. And into that shiny engine, look at that. Woo. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, this Mustang with like the Krager mags. Looking really, really good too. Blue and white. Man, beautiful. And then, very similar to my vet. Not sure what year this one is. Earlier than mine, certainly. But uh, yeah, I had a blue vet of the T-Tops. C3 vet, Edelbrock. This is going back pretty far. Oh, very nice looking C3 here. Nice looking Jeep. Got the windshield down. 1966 CJ5. Nice to see people just hanging out, talking cars. Camaro SS here, 396. This one's very cool. The uh, Mustang GT350, Shelby GT350. The record company gave Jim Morrison one of these. I actually tell the story in another video. Like I said, I got a Jim Morrison video in uh, Alexandria, and I have a Paris video on his life and death in Paris. Some controversy in it. That'll be coming up too. I like to do uh, kind of pop culture videos too. I have Warhol's life in Pittsburgh, his house, school, and church, um, and uh, all sorts of videos I do. Disc golf videos, teach you how to play that great game of disc golf. And uh, wow, look at this. That is, that is something. <laughs> Monster truck here. Very cool. It's an 88 Chevy crew cab square body. And then look at this, a T-Bird, Ford Thunderbird back here. So there you go. I think I've made it through uh, all of this car show, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, there you have it. I hope you will uh, smash that like button and uh, subscribe trying to get some wind resistance here. There we go. Smash that like button, subscribe. Just search Drive and Ivan in any car 
Check me out on TikTok, The Real Driving Ivan. You never know what type of video you're going to see there. I put all sorts of interesting stuff up there. Uh, not just cars, but uh, sometimes cars. Car reviews and uh, disc golf videos, like I said, music videos, pop culture videos. Um, you just never know what you're going to see. Guitar reviews. I have uh, original songs, cover songs on my Ink video channel. Uh, sometimes I tell you a story about a song, things like that, how it relates. And... Uh, Really, uh, check out my Free Your Mind video. It's an original song, and if you like um, cars, and if you like guitars, I have my whole collection in that video. My literal video from Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. That's a nice video you should check out. And uh, again, search any car and drive live. And I really hope you've subscribed. I hope you've enjoyed this car show in Leesburg, Virginia. And look for my series where I import a car and tell you how to do it, tell you how to license a car. You then drove on the Nurburgring. You can see my laps up there already. Again, thanks for watching 2023 Leesburg, Virginia Car Show. I'm driving Ivan.